Hello, good morning everybody. I'm your host Michael and I'm back with a few hours of Ghost of Tsushima. Yo, asset, what's up, Sensei? How you doing, bud? I'm um I'm here. I'm looking forward to playing a little bit more. I think the basic game plan for today is to do a mix of storyline and also going after the Gosaku uh, uh, armor. So as just to recap, yesterday we did some uh, Norio and we've got a little more to go with him. And then we've got these, I guess I'm going to, yeah, all the way up here, the next one. So maybe I'll also get into doing some uh, work with Masako as well. Good morning, Arthur Morgan. How are you? Happy Saturday. I'm good. Had a nice rest last night. Uh, went to re sleep real early. And it was nice. I always miss my wife when she's not here. You know, it's you get used to not sleeping alone. Um, so it was a little, little weird, but... I survived, and so did Murph. Murph stayed up so late, like when I told her to go to bed, she ran back out and sat on the couch just staring at the front door. So. Hi, what's up, Bumber? Sneasel. Is that, is, did I get pronounced that right? Uh, I ended up getting, I had to just, I didn't have any cash, and a lot of the taco places near me are cash only. So I ended up just getting some Taco Bell through the drive-thru. I got a chalupa and some nachos. And I watched a couple episodes of the classic television show Twilight Zone with my friend Mark. It was pretty fun. So much Masako here. There's, she's appearing a lot. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Let's see. Hey, it's Tinku, everyone. Good afternoon. I think it is for you. Good morning for me. I'm going to start heading up this way. So first we'll go and let's do a Kenji tail. These are always fun. So I'm going to walk there so I can get, well, I'm going to ride the horse there. And I'm assuming that this is going to be something to deal with too. But you've been playing Call of Duty all day. <laughs> taco sushi. <laughs> no taco sushi. Although I might get some sushi today. I might also go back down to that pepper steak or pepper lunch place. That place was delicious. All right. Nope. Awesome. Awesome, Tinku. Glad to have you here. How's everybody? How's how's the, the, the vibe going in your world? It's a little early here. I'm working on my first cup of tea. But I feel good. Did some work around the house also last night. Just some basic preventive maintenance. Maintenance tip of the day for when you own your own home or if you have a problem in your apartment. Every once in a while, go fill up your kitchen, or, or sorry, your bathroom sink with hot water, put dish soap in it, and then drain it really quickly. It's really good for your pipes. You know, tooth, toothpaste, soap, hair, all the things that get down in your drain, they can kind of bunch up after a while. Dish soap is awesome at clearing that problem. Burger King is doing a collab. <laughs> Love it. All right, first standoff. Let's see how my how my reflexes are. Uh, I hope Oda and Driver Guy will show. Um, I th Oda works on Saturdays a lot. Easy does it. Gotcha. You want some too? Okay, here you go. I'm serving up hot sword. There you go. Boom. Get it while it's fresh. Oh, you. I gotta end yourself now. Sorry. Bye-bye. But yeah, that's one of my home ownership pieces of advice. Just every once in a while, put some hot water and dish soap down into your sink. Oh, you guys want some too? Right. Uh, these look a little different. They're yellow. Or kind of like an amber color. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa, that guy's sword is on fire. What the? Whoa. There we go. That's, I did the revive. Oh, these guys are pretty crazy. Whoa. 
Whoa. That guy's sword is on fire. And now he's lit me on fire. What the? <laughs> what? Where did this come from? I am, uh, I'm here in the Akashima region in Toyotama. And uh, yeah, I ran over a couple of deer. I, they, they got in the way. I, there wasn't much, much I could do. Yes, we are rolling. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay, that was pretty intense. I hope I get a flaming sword soon. That was sweet. Oh, these guys are running away. Gentlemen. But that was cool. I got to see the um, the revive option. I don't think I've seen that before. And Arthur and I were talking about that yesterday. This land is... Hey, the... Uh, I could, uh. Oh, boy. You didn't have to go that way, dude. Life is not that bad. But I'll take your stuff. Cool, we're back to a place where there is plenty of action. Lots of Mongols. Ants in a tracksuit, love it. Gotcha. Who else wants some? You want a new hole in your body? There you go. Mr. Muss's weight loss techniques. There you go. That gut is no longer a problem. I love that spinning blade. Love it. Awesome. I have a Colt replica. It's um, uh, blue steel, kind of like black. It doesn't shoot anything, though. It's just a replica. I bought it in Hollywood. Yeah, that big boy hit me once, but he went down. He went down. They eventually fall. The harder they come, the harder they fall. What it is? Something like that. Bigger they come? Nah. Maybe that. I don't know. Hey, there's Fox. Hey, buddy. Yes. Take me to your leader. Look at the fox running through these flowers. How quaint. Show me the way. Oh, I see it. Voila. There it is. I think you're right. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Sounds right. It's early. I can't be relied on for analogy. Okay, no boo, let's go. There's Mongols everywhere right now. This is great. Hola, Mrs. Mus. How are things? Oh, that 
person is dead and twisted up. For once, Mrs. Muss and I are in different time zones. She's three hours in the future. <laughs> Lego games are so fun. They are super fun and cute. Ah, home misses you too. Okay, so I think this is the question mark that I was... Yep, this is the question mark. So I'm going to quickly investigate here. Kenji's not far away, but I think that this might be Mongol territory. Maybe a logging camp? Yep, Stonemire Lookout. Well, I'm going to have to try and take care of this real quick. It did? Nobu just vanished? I missed it. I missed it. I was, my, my gaze was on the, the camp. That's crazy. Nobu, you magical beast. Where did you go? Oh boy, there's throat singing. Oh good, and there's a captain um, practicing. I'll be able to watch him. can't observe him. Hmm. Alright, who are we dealing with here? Got him. Him. These guys are just not paying attention. I'm standing right here. For some reason, I'm not able to... Oh, yeah, the flying guy. Okay, well, I'll come back to him. Usually you can watch them and learn from their moves, but I guess not today. What is this guy doing? He's, like, honoring some sort of shrine. Perfect. This is nice. Oh, because there's someone here. Okay. I was thinking either that or because of the standoff. again. Okay, Tinku, I'll be here. We got time today. Oh, Arthur's been mod. Yep, Arthur's been mod for like nine months. want to learn from you. Let me learn. Let me learn, otherwise I'll kill you. That's nah, not happening. Maybe I'll try and sneakily kill all of these other men. Come back and try again. Yes, Arthur is one of the sheriffs around these parts. She does a great job.
Nope, that's not what I wanted. I'll try and take this big boy down. Good night. Oh, I thought I was caught there for a second. Buenos dias. What's up, cuñado? Y'all ready? Sorry, I wish I could be there with you. Oh, they're coming. Hey, that's some you would? I'm gonna go back to the sneak through. Um, the rules on this channel, you know, the simple stuff. Number one is be good to yourself and take care of each other. Number two is don't be hateful, racist, sexist, homophobic, any of that stuff. You know, the normal things. And then, of course, all the YouTube rules. When, when you're here with me, you're pretty much on my big virtual couch. We're hanging out in my living room. So just try and act like you would if you were here in person. Hey, Desiree. How's it going? Long time no see. Extraño. Okay, these guys have chilled out. Can I observe him yet? Alright, he's left me no choice. If I can't learn from him, he's gotta die. <laughs> Bye. Oh, it was nice talking with you. Goodbye. I have played through Red Dead Redemption 2 twice. Oh, fun. This game's rad, isn't it? Miss you and love you too. Um, and for those who don't know, Danik and Dez are family. I love this game. I'm having a great time with it. It's impressive. I like sneaking around and catching these dudes by surprise when I can. But it's also pretty fun just to all out battle them. I thought that was going to explode into flames. Agreed. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, they, they are upset now. Now I've made them mad. Go longbow. Mess with these guys a little bit. They're not gonna even know what's happening. <laughs> Big man was so busy. suffering. Oh, it's you. Yeah, he 
you can't run away. These guys just hiding around. I don't know. The, both of these characters are just hiding. I think they were running away, but they didn't make it far. <laughs> right away, the yellow bird's like, hey, come on over here. There's stuff over here. You can see stuff. No, I don't mind at all, Tinku. I manage people who do technical support. So sometimes if you're calling into a company and you speak to someone about an issue you're having, whether it's like a tech problem or billing or whatever, that's my part of the world. <laughs> they were stuck in a tree. Oh, that's funny. Good horses. Stay where you are. Yeah, it's cool. It's not glamorous, but it helps me to pay the bills so that I can do fun stuff like this on the side. And it's satisfying. I'm, just, I'm a problem solver by nature, so I like fixing things. Oh, nice. Screenwriting sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of work, but also a lot of fun. Very creative. I think this place is cleared out. Let's keep on moving towards Kenji. Mmm. Roast pig. Poof. Ah, that opened up. See here, I think maybe because I'm, I'm fighting and winning using the... Um, Traveler's attire. It seems like when I'm when I'm solving these areas, it's clearing out more of the smoke. That's pretty cool. I'm down with that. I'll be here for another two and a half hours. Saturdays are longer because it's morning here, so I don't have anything to do. I get my free time. I'll be around. Oh, this is... What are you guys up to? Nothing good. Mongols are never up to anything good. Right on. Thank you, Tiku. Too slow, bud. Way too slow. Oh, and you're big, but you go down pretty quick. Me too, me too. I, I'm getting quicker at switching between them. Because it's really important. You do a lot better. It really does matter. Is there anything in this box? Nope. That thunder is ominous. Come on, Nobu, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, cool. That's a nice chill part of that game. A little bit of cards. Is that a shrine? Or just a camp? Kind of looks like it has some shrine gates. Okay, I'm gonna go to Kenji anyway. Oh, nice. Oh, yes, I know that, that scene very well. Silly Swanson. Always getting himself into trouble, isn't he? It's a masterpiece. You okay, Murph? Hang on one second. You okay, Murphy girl? Yeah, I'm sure. Murphy girl. Since I'm the only one here, I have to be listening for Murph too, just in case she needs some help. Like there's any enemies here. Yeah, she's all right. Oh, interesting. So this is a camp that is not occupied, but it could be. I'm not at the Kenji's. Oh, look at this. This is a battering ram to break down doors, like castle doors. So you'd have a man here and a man here, and then another two men on the other side, and they would run with it. And then this this thing would hit the door. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised there's no one here. I'm assuming they will be back. They're just not here right now. I'll tell her you say hi. I'll give her some scritches. Real close. I must have run right past Kenji. Okay. Where are you at, Kenji? see him with his little sake backpack sake drink it again during the day good morning Sylvia Kenji what are you doing you have stumbled upon a perfect opportunity my lord down this road lies an enemy camp stuffed with supplies to feed clothe and heal dozens hundreds and the Mongols left Kenji it's a ripe plum just begging for it what are you not telling me? This is a simple situation. No Mongols, lots of stuff. Help ourselves, help the people. Look at those birds in the background. On the slim chance, some good comes of this. Lead the way. I knew you'd understand, Lord Sakai. Kenji's... Uh, I wouldn't trust Kenji. Natu and the Sakai seller. Okay. I wouldn't trust Kenji at all at this point. He's sketch. But here we are. Look at that flock of birds. That's amazing. How did you find this camp? I've been following these guys for a while. They're so arrogant they leave their camp unguarded when they go on raids. Then who are you waiting for on the road? Who? Me? Uh, nobody. I was on my way to the camp when you happened by. There are survivors taking refuge near Yawakawa's stronghold. They need supplies. That's exactly the people I'm trying to help. Yeah, sure, Kenji. Sure. We got the waterfall looking pristine. I sense that Kenji's bringing me into a trap. That's okay. Yeah. He's got drunk brain. Sake brain. What did I tell you? So beautiful, it makes you weep. Look around. Gather what you can. Pretty 
came through here, there isn't much. Oh, here we go. Plenty of food here. Fish, vegetables, rice, and millet. Japanese, not Mongolian. They're learning to like our cuisine. He drinks too much, yes, exactly. Clothing, leather, silk, wood. This can help a lot of people. Kenji, there's food and medicine over here. Another barrel of food. A sake barrel. Uh -huh. Know anything about this, Kenji? You think I'm the only one on this island who sells sake to the Mongols? Yes. My lord, I'm hurt. <laughs> Kenji. Anything valuable there? Precious metals? Rare wood? Oh. Kenji, I'll kill you. Who are you? The man who's going to end Kenji's life. You left me here to die. No, that's not true. I brought help. Meet Lord Sakai. Also known as the ghost. Would one of you explain what's happening now? Kenji set me up. That's what's happening. It wasn't a setup. The Mongols were supposed to pay for this stuff. Only they didn't. And then they took my friend Natsu here hostage. They were supposed to pay for this? Hear that? They're back. Please cut me loose. Where'd you get these supplies? We stole them from straw hats. Lord Sakai, can you distract the Mongols? So you can escape? Not exactly. I have an idea. Trust me. No more ideas, Kenji. Just take your friend and go. Okay. I'll throw some sticky bombs around. I'll distract him, alright. Ooh. Oh my god, there's a bear here. Quick shot, huh? Straw hat. Perfect parry. Six dogs, my friend. How's things? How's this quick archer, I hear you. Ah, I hit the rock. So now it's a, a, a battle between Mongols and Straw Hats. Kenji, You're Kenji's friend, you can come out now, it's safe. Over here, we're locked in. Where? Yes, the, the stone deserves the arrow. We thought it would be safer in here. You guys are such wimps, get out of here. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Yes, thank you. You know what happens now? I'm gonna ride that sake bearer all the way to... Kenji, I think he's angry. Lord Sakai. Our intention was always to gift our gains to the survivors who need most. Camp outside the town of Yarakawa. 
Gather everything you can. And when I visit that camp, I'm going to find it overflowing with food and medicine, correct? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. They do. They do. They're like dumb and dumber. <laughs> Charm of advantage. Okay. And now they're going to argue about what, whose idea it was. All right, I'm going to run around and take a look, see what I can find here. Full of kunai. Yes, just like the movie. Yeah, they're just getting into trouble accidentally wherever they go. Because their intentions aren't necessarily good. I think I got everything. Let me just double check. Ah, sticky bombs. Hi, bird. Okay, where do you want me to go? I've been chirping for a while. I'll follow you. Show me like a haiku spot or something. <laughs> I think it would probably be... It seems like not to. He seemed like he was trusting of Kenji. And Kenji took advantage of him. <laughs> it's so funny. It's, that movie is hilarious. Jim Carrey and, and Lloyd Bridges in general are just too funny. Let's see. Who's this? Hey, dude. Oh, I hope this is bringing me to bamboo. It's in a city or in a town, so... Survivor can't. Oh, it just brought me to the camp. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, it's definitely a real thing. It is. It happens in the the Christmas care uh, the Christmas story as well, right? The little boy gets his his tongue stuck. What's interesting is that. In the Christmas story, the way they did that special effect, I don't know about Dumb and Dumber, but definitely in the Christmas story, there was a hole in the in the, the pipe, and they had a vacuum. So when he put his tongue on it, it sucked his tongue into the vacuum, and that's why it stayed stuck. It wasn't actually stuck, it was just being sucked into this little tiny hole that kept a vacuum on his tongue. Kind of interesting. Yeah, if you don't have warm water to, to get your tongue off from it, it can be painful. <laughs> I like stuff like that, though. I like to learn learn how they do things in movies, how special effects work and stuff. I think I'm good on upgrades right now. I'm just kind of running around looking at what they've got. See, who's this? Is this Yuna? Okay. That's, that's an option. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep waiting on that one. I'm gonna go up and see. I want to go to the work on the unbreakable Gosaku, so that's evenly dispersed throughout the stream today. So I'm just gonna head straight there, as, as close as close to straight there as I can. I know I made it, but I gotta go. I'll be right back. It's less than a kilometer away, so I'm just gonna run directly there. That's one of my goals for today is to finish that up. I don't know if I will or not, because there's a lot to do. I've only done one or two of the, one of the farm sets, I think. I only have one key. So it's a lot. But I got still got over two hours. So we'll see. <clears throat> and just a heads up, in at like half past the next hour, I'm going to have to take Murph out real quick. I don't want to say that too loud or she'll want to go right now. We can do this together. Okay, this I'm gonna skip this part. Kushi, one of Tomoe's training camps is around here. Dead bandits. Uh oh. 
I might not have a choice. One still lives. Black dye merchant. Ooh. So now I can get white dye and black dye. Hello. Beef. Looks like you attacked the wrong caravan. Stay still. I can end your suffering. No, my lord. I killed these bandits. And I won't stop till I've gutted the rest. Aren't you one of them? Not by choice. They forced me to join. Said it would pay for my family's debt. After years of working for them, I went home and saw that they'd killed my family. Wow. Stolen. All they had. I refused to die until I've killed every last one. Those bandits have earned death, but you can't do it alone. I would welcome your help. My name is Gomyo. Jin Sakai. Show me where the others are. Debt repaid. Uh, I'm gonna save this one for later. My must mug? It's too small for Saturday mornings. I need more tea. Not really, it's in the dishwasher. Um, oh, it's not in the dishwasher, it's in the sink. I love it though. I try to use it every day. It's my favorite mug right now. I just won a funny mug at work as part of a <clears throat> like an ev event we did. It has Nicolas Cage's face on it. I'll show it to you when I get it. Whenever they send it to me. I don't know when that will be, but... Ah, this is interesting. How do I get over? Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, Sonic for breakfast. Lucky you. Alright, I'm coming the wrong way. I gotta go up the hill. I haven't been to Sonic in a while. Nice. I'm glad. So Again, so thankful that you have the, the mugs. Blue Raspberry Nerd Slush. Nice. I We don't have a, a Sonic real close by, but one within about 30 minutes, I think. Okay, so that's... That's Tomoyo, Tomoe's training, I think. <laughs> the bird's back. I love these uh, bamboo, bunches of bamboo, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Almost there, yep. Koshimitsu Farmstead, Mongol territory. Okay. Time to save some farmers. Kill the Mongols, guard in the garden. Rescue hostages, kill an enemy with a shoji assassination. Ah, oh, that's the one through the door. I love those. All right, let me work on thinking about how this might work. And there's someone in the garden? So cool. Get them through the door like that. It's worth a drive, in my opinion. Oh, shit. Throwing all sorts of black powder bombs. You guys got nothing. Hmm. Let's 
throw them a black bomb. in here. I feel like he might be the one that I can get with a shoji. So when he turns around, I'm going to try and run over there and climb up the side of the building. Yep. Maybe there's a door somewhere? Nope. Swim fast. <laughs> wow. I am not getting the block on that at all. There we go. dude who is I see I have not seen a cannon like that yet that's pretty awesome was crazy yeah that was insane i couldn't get a shot in on him he was not only a big guy but he also had that cannon okay all right i guess i'm really gonna work for the unbreakable guy gosaku i'll take a different approach this time we'll see how it works the Mongol guards in the garden. So I'm going to just start from over here. Go up. I love how he climbs these. So cool. dead? Okay. Now this one's wearing, they're wearing armor. this one. They're going to die. How's that fair? He's not even close. Damn it. They killed him. Yeah. Oh, that, that was weird. It was like they triggered on the wrong part of the map. I'll keep trying, though. I will keep trying. Maybe I should switch into the Ronin outfit so I can get the benefits of having a little more stealth. Look 
at all these hats. Right, let me try this again. This is fun. Try from the other side. See how this goes. Maybe I can get in. Kill an enemy with a show. Okay, I see. So it's actually... It may be marked. Is that... Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, through the fence, maybe? Yeah, this is not working out because they're talking to each other. No, there's no way I'm going to reach this person in time. Yep, dead. Ah, so I got to be really sneaky. I can't set off any alarms. I got to get through and kill all these dudes in secret. Okay. Gosaku armor is not going to be easy. I'm going to give this one more try. And then if I can't get it this time, I will... Um, Okay, so it, it gave me... Hmm. Okay. I don't know what just happened here. It looks like it awarded me and, you know, cleared up this one, but I didn't get credit for the hostage. Okay. Hmm. So this is the garden, right? I assume this is their bamboo garden. That could be wrong. Nice. Great. I'm going to try going way around the outside here. Is there anyone out here? No. Yep. No rush. No rush at all. You saw nothing. It was just a shadow. Turn around so I can run inside. Gotta be sneaky.
<laughs> I'm just gonna wait for him for a second. What's happening? Oh, because your skills are going up. You're getting matched with tougher opponents. I, I, that does make sense. Isn't that fun? Look at this guy. He's ready to fight. There's my there's my target. Got him. Okay, that was nice. <laughs> nice. You could still clap him. Like it. Have fun with that, dude. Do I have the talisman that changes the wind bells? I don't think I have that one just yet. Wish this guy would come over here, but I'll take what I can get. Just assassinate him real quick. And then for these next two, I'm going to use Kunai, because I believe there are just two left. Hmm, I wonder if I could get them individually, actually. Thank you, heavy arrows. Oh, crawl under, maybe I can use that. I'll check though, uh, Arthur, I'm not sure. If I do or not. <sighs> oh, interrupted his drink of water. Got it. I thought that I'd die here. You're safe now. <laughs> well, I got the optional. Let me see if what I left behind here. Some supplies. Oops. I love the Ronin outfit. He looks so cool. Especially with the upgraded hat. The fact that it's dark. It's like camouflage for the night. Okay. This next one is going to pose a challenge, um, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to go back through the safety of areas that I've already unlocked, that I've already handled, and sort of step in that way.
Yeah, this is crazy, so I'm gonna go up and around. Okay, those are the people I've saved. No worries, just inside a burning building. Sneak up on these guys here. Let's go. somehow want to assassinate these two. Smoke bomb? How would they have known? Okay. Now, sneak out. Okay, what do you have? Okay. I'll switch to Kunai. Sneak out. Oh, uh, wind bell, wind chime would have made a sense too, yeah. Now I can just go all the way up to the top of this building, or this little house. And, oh, okay, there's one. Near here. One, two, three. Hmm. I think I can take these guys, but I don't want them to alert anybody else. Yes, got it. Come on, chain, chain, chain. Wow, look at that. What is happening? Bonk. Gotcha. All right, I got you. For a second there, it looked like that the game was going to freeze or something. At last. Thank you, Bonsai. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. It was. It was like the game was having a hard time. I think it was because it was trying to decide whether the other uh, enemy was close enough to, s to chain. But he wasn't. He had moved. Some supplies. Powder bomb. Get some arrows. Okay. Oh, I see. It's not arrows. It's all through that. Oh, there we go. This last one is the tough one. This is where the, the guy with the grenade launcher thing was. I don't like him very much, so I'm going to have to kill him. First, use a longbow. Take him down. I'll wait. 
Oh wait, I think he's gonna come back over here. Come on. Come back, it's safe. Don't move. He won't see you. Gotcha. Look at what this guy's doing. Close quarters combat. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. All right, let me let me let you free. That was cool, huh? I like that. Did the Mongols take your key? No. You may have it. If more Mongols come, they'll get nothing from us. The key of Koshimizu. Got it. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so I do have... Huh. Do I have all of them now? Okay. Weird. That's the last key. The musician said the armor is atop a hill in Akashima. I guess I lost count? I was very efficient yesterday. I thought I only did like four of them, or three of them yesterday, but okay. Bonus objective completed. Increased legend. And now the farmstead is a happy green place again where men are fishing and farming stuff, bathing, hanging out with the deers. I got all six. We're good. So now on to get the armor. He said it's on a hill. Travel to the hill in Akashima. Three kilometers. Okay. I love how the color comes back. It's such an... I, like, I don't, I, I hope the developers understand what a nice feature that is. Like, it's, it's really comforting. Poof. And I'm just going to cheat <laughs> and fast travel because I don't feel like riding that whole way. Yes. Oh, good. Good. I'm excited. I like the idea of it. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. The Unbreakable Gusaku. Love the idea of an unbreakable armor. The old Togo rice fields. Well, this would be the hill, I think. first. Everyone else can just handle. Oh, Captain. Done. 
when I have enough materials, upgrade it. Yeah, I'm going to plan on upgrading everything. I want everything to be strong or whatever. But thank you, that's great advice. I much appreciate it. Oh, some supplies. Ooh, look at this. Locked. I should try one of the keys. I feel like locking the door behind me. So nobody gets in here. But, okay. Okay, there's a mount right there. I guess that's it. Yeah, so it's a... Climb up. Dude, this is awesome. I hear you, bird. Tony, what's up, bud? Happy Saturday. Whoa, that was that was close. That would have been bad. Okay, there's the gate. Just climbing in the mountain. There it is. Collect Gosaku's armor. Oh, you broke your nose? Gosaku's armor. The Mongols will learn of its power firsthand. Sturdy. Surprisingly light. Ah, nice. The unbreakable Gosaku. I have two points to spend. Armor worn by Go Saku, defender of Tsushima's farmers. Let's take a look at it. Moderate increase to health. Moderate increase to stagger damage. Killing a staggered enemy re restores 10% of the health. Okay. And I can easily upgrade it. Look how many supplies I have. 3,632. All right. Well, now we got to go to the armor. Does it come with anything else? Oh, it looks legit with the Suri Monaco mask. Looks good with this too. The Hero of Tsushima because of the gold. Kosaku's headband. Cool. So he just went no helmet, just just wearing the headband. All right. I see. I see. Nice. Looking good. I'll wear this for a little while. How did you break your nose, bud? If you don't mind sharing. How can I... I think that earlier what I saw down here, this is the easy way to descend. What's up? What are you showing me? Okay, bird. Uh huh. Get a helmet. Cool. Yeah, and I guess I could I could style a helmet to look good with it too.
This must be what the bird is trying to get me. Oh, cool. There's a shrine. Took the kids to the park to look at the lights, and my son got caught up in the wire, so I ran to get him before he fell, and I didn't see a steel beam. Bam. Ouch. Ow, man. That sucks. I assume you had to go to, like, what, urgent care or something, or did you just ice it and go home? I don't think there's much they can do for your broken nose. This is a pretty dark scene. Pillar of Honor. Oh, another sword set. Dueling Festival. Your foes will drink and feast on chaos and blood. Let's see what this looks like. Nice. I still like the one I'm rocking. The, uh, let's see where it is. This thing, because I like the hilt on this. Mmm. Ouch. Uh, ouch. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough time of year. And a Friday night. Probably busy. Well, that sucks, man. You should make up, um, you can just lie. You could tell a cool story about it. Just say like you were looking at the lights and a, a group of street thugs attacked you and your family and you fought them all off. But unfortunately, one of them sucker punched you. And, um, but you like beat them all up and delivered them to the police department like Spider-Man. You can go even further with it if you want. But honestly, accidents happen. It's not, it doesn't sound like you made a mistake. It would be different if you were like drunk running around doing stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least you're trying to like protect your, your son, right? To save him from hurting himself or whatever. It, it's, that's at least an honorable way to hurt yourself. <laughs> it's not your first rodeo, huh? Uh,. What is it with parks at night? What is it? Okay. Uh, it's 20 after 8. I'm going to head here to go see the armor. See if I can upgrade this stuff. And I will fast travel because there's nothing between me and it that I'm going to find. Oh, you can jump over the sweep attack. Okay. Never thought to do that. There you go. There you go. I love it. Your dead eye is temporarily out of out of service. <laughs> the legendary bounty broke your nose. I like that. I, that's actually a very, very good one. Alright, these guys are arguing. I'm not going to try that yet. I want to go to Norio after this, but... I'm gonna go get hang with the there he is. Right? Isn't this the armor? Yeah. Oh, swordsmith. Wrong. Hey man, have you seen the armor? Where's he at? And then there's the bowyer. That one I know. This dude. Hello. And then the trapper. Where is the armor? Oh. No, I'm good right now. Uh, no. No, it should be about the same. Um, no, it should, I don't think I changed it. If I did, I did it by accident. I don't think I changed it though. I might be sitting slightly closer. Maybe, oh, yellow bird, always trying to distract me. Armor. There we are. All right, let's update Gosaku's armor upgrade, rather. 
Massive increase to health, moderate increase to staggered damage. Killing staggered enemy restores 10% of health. Yep. Much better protection. Okay. Massive increase to health, major increase to stagger damage. Killing a staggered enemy reduces 10% of health. Okay. Linen, leather. I got plenty of all this stuff, so yes. Oh, I see. There's the helmet that, that are... Oh, my God. Look at Kosaku. Oh, my God. It looks good. I mean, I'm tempted to just go all the way here. I can afford everything. Yeah, I'll take it. Level four. Boom. Nothing stronger. And there's some upgrades for the Ronin attire as well. Might as well go full bore with the Ronin attire. Oh, and he gets a new hat with the Ronin attire. It's my favorite. It's my favorite type of hat. Look at it. It's just like a dark version of it. Love it. Take it. And Traveler's Attire. Yeah, I'll do this too. 30% more fog on the map. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. He definitely looks tough. And Controller will vibrate within 60 meters of an artifact. Very Red Dead Redemption. Sure, I'll take that. I think I can afford it. It kind of cuts me down on everything, but... Again, I just want to say it out loud. This is how grind open world games should be. There's a bit of a grind here, but I just got paid. Like, I got so paid and benefited so much from collecting um, supplies and everything. It's just unmatched. You know, like, that's how it should be. It wasn't hard. Didn't take me time. It just was... There was some effort, but it wasn't crazy. It wasn't a crazy amount of effort. It was just the right amount of effort. And that's what I like about this game. Other game developers should take note. This is how you do a grind to make people happy. Oops. Make, you know, put things in great position. Reward your player for doing things. Reward them. Just reward, reward, reward. That's what it should be. Okay, before we move on. It's been about an hour and a half, so I'm going to go take my dog out for a little five-minute jaunt around the backyard. I will put up a Be Right Back screen, so those of you who uh, maybe join when I'm not here will know. Sorry, I'm home alone, so I need to do this real quick, but give me seven minutes. I'll be right back.
Okay, thank you for patiently waiting. I'm back. Let's move on. And let's go find Norio. Thank you. Ah, these statues. Look at these things. Thank you. Ah, uh, but first, let's see where this bird's headed. Maybe some bamboo. What have you got for me, bird? Bring me to some bamboo, please. What's here? Where have you brought me? Something to find, perhaps? Yes, Murph is a happy girl. She is a happy girl. Hmm. I don't know what the bird was trying to show. Me. Cool statue. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Okay. Bird led me to seemingly nothing. Just this temple. Back to Norio. Oh, hold up, I'll be right back. That one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Norio. What's the problem? Mongols are gathering nearby, preparing to strike. We should evacuate to Castle Kaneda. Evacuate, and the Mongols will hunt you down. Not one of you will live to see Kaneda's walls. But we won't have blood on our hands. Go tell their villager plan for them, Ochi. I'd like to see that. Norio, I wish you cared about the Eightfold Path more than others' opinions. First, you follow Enjo around, now Lord Sakai. Do you ever think for yourself? Wash my brother's name from your mouth. Enough. Norio and I will do the fighting. Everyone else can go hide. I refuse to hide. I don't take lives. But I am not a coward. Ghosts in the fog. I think this is a great time to try Gosaku's armor. Since it's just going to be a fight, I'll scout the village, see what defenses pre pre preparations we can make quickly, gather everyone to you, ready them to take shelter. Oh, look. Uh, oh, no, it's a reflection. I was going to say, oh, did the... It did. This outfit changed when I upgraded it. Interesting. So it did change a little bit. I like the flowers and the, the dark hat, dark pants. All right, let me change into the the new gear. Gosaku's armor. Gosaku's visage, visage. And let's go with Gosaku's headband. No, there was a helmet, wasn't there? There it is. Look at him, he looks ready to fight now. One of these rooftops should do. Family, friends, neighbors, make sure everyone's safe. Here. Perfect. Mongols can strike from any direction. If we flee into the swamp, people will get lost, separated. Easy prey. 
a temple. People could hide there. Incense burners. Add black powder to the incense, get the smoke nice and dense, enough to use as cover. Norio and Hochi, lead everyone to the temple. I'll deal with the Mongols here. They blame me, not the villagers. Take them to the temple. I won't let you fight alone. If the Mongols go to the temple, who will protect these people? I'll do as you ask. Keep your Naginata ready. I'll owe you a jar of sake for putting up with Hochi. Everyone, Mongols are on the way. Follow me to the temple. The invaders will face the wrath of the samurai. Please, everyone, do as Norio says. We'll take shelter at the temple. I don't think I should be lighting them just yet. So I'm going to use them strategically through the battle, I think. Find a place on the edge of town and wait. Okay. I can hide in the granary. They're here. Now to light the incense burners. I hope the Mongols like smoke. Try this a little different, different approach. Wow, that actually killed them. Okay. Perfect. 
This using the um, the incense burners is pretty smart. Gotcha. That was quick. Deadly. Two sticky bombs. Uh, Hochi's dead. Yep, I want to speak with him. Hmm. Try to run away. Return. What happened, Norio? I was fighting. A Mongol snuck up behind me. Hochi threw himself at a blow meant for me. You're both braver than many samurai I've known. Okay, rest in peace, Hochi. I didn't know he was behind me until I heard him cry out. By the time I turned around, he was dead. It's not your fault. Norio? Every time they lifted the cover on the pit, the daylight would blind us. This time, one of them stank like sake. I felt their hands pull me up, but my brother threw himself at them. He was starving, wounded, but he fought them. He fought them so hard. Norio, you don't have to... Yes, I do. They gave up on me and took Enyo. They took my brother. Everyone who rode from Cedar Temple, all gone. Except for me. They deserve to live. I'm the one who should be dead. Aww. It's okay, big guy. I thought the same thing after Komoda. Many times. I don't know why we survived, Norio. But we did. And these people are counting on us. We're all they have. 
The people of Akashima are alive because of you. Don't forget that. Because they won't. Ghosts in the fog. It's a nice scene. Let's see if I can grab a snapshot real quick. missed it charm of them yielding to yeah these are great scenes maybe i can grab it majorly reduced taken damages taken while at 50 percent health or less okay noble fighters headband only with worthy ambitions may only those with worthy ambitions may wear this headband ah, that would have been a great shot but it didn't didn't let me unfortunately Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can get... Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see what we can do for a picture. Okay, that's pretty much in the center. It's pretty cool. I'll take it. Maybe I can work with it. Well, that was a little somber moment. But Norio's a good man. Okay, back to it. Norio said a temple in Kushi still needs our support. Okay, so that opened up the Legends just multiplayer, I think. I'm going to fast travel back to the Black Dye Merchant. Let's do that next. Go from there. Oh, that's right. I have technique points to spend. 
I'll do that here right before I go into the next mission. Ah, oh, this guy's got like a little cave here now. That's cool. So I have two points. So that looks tempting because then that would clear out my stances. Let's see what we were talking about with the uh, concentration cooldown is also something that would be nice. Let me try and find that other one that you were talking about, Arthur. Um, what was it? Firecracker. Throw a firecracker to draw multiple enemies. So I'll do that just because I think that will make sense. Bring a bunch of them in together. Ah, yeah, that, that's a nice one. And then I think this one too, water downpour. Inflict increasing damage when you attack in your flurry strike. And that way these are done. There's no more to go. All the stances are updated. And the next things I'll work on will be in here. So these are two, four, six. Okay. Terrifying parry. That's awesome. How do I do that one again? Attacks marked by blue glinting lines can be parried. Okay. I like this man's little little fort here. This is cool. Look at this. The black dye merchant. Are you alive or spirit? Alive. For now. And wondering what you do here. I feared the secrets of my dyes would go to waste. But a samurai lives. My colors are midnight, trees blackened by fire. Eyes dark with yearning. Give me the right materials, and I'll clothe you, my lord. Cool. I'll see you again. I remember there was a bandit here somewhere who wanted help, right? Was this him? Yes, a debt repaid. Bandits have been active. Would be a good idea if I stopped them. I believe that is it. So we'll head there next. Mm -hmm. Speak with the bandit. All right, let's go. There he is. Still hanging out. Okay. Thief. Looks like you attacked the wrong caravan. Stay still, and I can end your suffering. No, my lord. I killed these bandits. And I won't stop till I gutted the rest. Aren't you one of them? Not by choice. They forced me to join. They said it would pay my father's, my family's debt. After years of working for them, I went home and saw them kill my family. Killed my family. Stolen all they had. I refused to die until I killed every last one. Those bandits have earned death, but you can't do it alone. I would welcome your help. My name is Gomyo. Jin Sakai. Show me where the others are. Let's get this done. Ah, oh, that's cool. A debt repaid. It's Tinku, back again. Let's go, Gamyo. I wish I'd killed them long ago. We'll do it together. Let's go. Right. If you have information I can use, tell me. Of course, I know this camp well. Oh, 
They're outside the main camp. Lookouts. Should take them out first. That building near the water is where they keep what they steal. What's in there? That's where the bastards sleep. Is anyone inside? That belongs to their leader, Gorohachi. He's the worst of them all. It's a bigger camp than I expected. These bandits are a threat to the whole prefecture. Let's go. We're doing it. They're all gonna die. Watch your back. Chain. Wow, I'm not able to block those. It says blue, but I'm having quite a hard time blocking them. Good night. What else you got? Some arrows. Me too, I love that kick. It. It's all for you, bud. Your life of a bandit is over. I'm gonna loot real quick before I go find the leader. Whenever you're ready. I know. I'm just looting real quick. Man's gotta eat, right? Anything else? This guy was some good eye. Anything? No. 
Hopefully this will be a fun duel. Almost there. Nobody's here. Any idea where they went? Okay, got arrows. Let's go find him. Available. Good deal. Bastard. Glad I killed your family, Gamyo. Where is he? Can't do anything for them. Should have been dead when you first found me. You avenged your family, Gomyo. With your help, my lord. And now, I beg one last favor. Don't leave my body with this filth. I won't. Hmm. Be at peace, Gomyo. A debt repaid. Done. Awesome. That was fun. Charm of Enduring Affliction. Hmm. What does this do? Status effects last 50% longer and deal 50% more damage. All right. I think I'm going to equip this one. So I've got Charm of Unyielding. I'm going to go to Charm of Unyielding 2. Let's see. So many things to choose from. Okay, so I think Ferocity still still fits. It's a moderate increase to melee damage. Then I've got Majorly reduces damage taken while at 50% health or less. Moderate increase to arrow damage. Ghost weapons deal 20% deal more damage. 
And I like this. The Charm of Inari has helped a lot. I think that's how I'm collecting so many supplies. Okay. Onwards. Do a quick little run around to see if there's any other loot here that I didn't find. And of course the bird's here. What you got, bird? Show me. <laughs> Always a bird. Slow down, bird. I'm trying. I'm coming as fast as I can. The remains of a robbery. Fresh blood. Someone was hurt. It could be nearby. Now oh, there's blood. More blood. That's what I was looking for in this box. What were you looking into here? 25x supplies. Good deal. Longbow upgrade available. Great. Now let's see who they were messing with here. I'm assuming that's what I'm about to find. Cloud Ridge Shrine. A monk. He must be the one they robbed on the road. Marked by shallow cuts. They were torturing him. Whatever they wanted, he couldn't give it up. Torn flower petals. Dirt. Like he was digging for something. Or trying to hide it. He gave his life for whatever he was hiding. I should see if I can find it. Burden of theft. Oh, those red flowers are going to be where I'm looking. Got it. Search for the hidden item. So I did see red flowers over here. Right there. A blood trail. Yep, and it leads me right to it. Some flowers I found on the monk. Tsushima relic, a small precious statue belonging to Kushi Temple. Neat. That's kind of like Uncharted. Travel to the Kushi Pagoda. Will do. Right after I get a good look around here, just to make sure I didn't miss anything else. No, it doesn't look like I did. Okay.
in the bamboo forest. This is pretty sweet. Reminds me of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yeah, I saw that. No crickets. Okay, so I keep coming. Oh, did you? Hmm, I didn't see any. it or maybe it was just a noise because I looked I didn't see any crickets of course there's a bird <laughs> is this a shrine of some kind straw hat a poor humble traveler or a deadly warrior <laughs> oh it's a moss covered hat that's kind of cool what happened asset or are you saying it was aha because i saw the hat aha okay onward to the kushi Fox den too. All right. Well, first things first. Got to give back this little statue. I came to return something that was stolen. Never thought I'd see this again. One of your monks lost his life to protect it. That man was no monk. He was a peasant we'd taken in. One morning I woke to find him gone, along with this statue and one of my robes. And he wasn't a martyr. He was a thief. We are all subject to our choices. His and it is suffering. <laughs> more and more like a samurai. It's it's uh, infectious. It's hard to play this game without taking on that tone. I love it. Love it. Great, great game so far. Okay, I'm working my way up. Saving up for the next upgrades. Charm of Divine Healing 2. Okay, so that's tempting. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll put that into... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't want to... What is it called? Shoji? I don't want to shoji anyone that comes to the front door. Uh, while... At at 50% health or less, healing recovers an additional 30% of health. That's tempting. Um, and it's a... It's a level 2, so I'm pretty good with the... With damage. Yep, okay, I'm good with that. Now, where did that fox go? I hear it. Oh, 
This is cool. These little Buddhas, or whatever they are, little statues. A fox and a bird at the same time. They must be working together. They're conspiring together. Thank you for waiting, Fox. Oh, honoring the shrine in the darkness of the night. The charm of silence. Okay. Minor stealth charm reduces enemy detection speed by 15% and increases resolve gains by minor amount. That's cool. I think I already have that kind of covered with the Ronin outfit, but... Nice to have. No doubt. It's dark in these here woods. Cloud Ridge Shrine. And then something else out here. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to work on uh, Masako Tail. So just for brevity, I'm going to use Fast Travel. You know, after seeing all the katana in this, I, have, I feel like my katana is like a total basic bitch. It's like the most basic katana in the, on the planet. Got a pretty cool hilt though. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like it would be something tough to go against. I hope I never have to use it for that purpose. And since this is just a shrine, I'll go down into my default. I'll stay with his headband, though. Looks good with this outfit. Yeah, he looks cool. Love it. Are those foxes? They look like they could be foxes. drop. left behind by somebody. Oh, it's going to be up there, I think. No, nope, maybe this way. I'm keeping my mind open. Check every corner, right? Yeah. Uh, nope, I thought that was a crawl through. There we go. Squeeze through. Oh, little cache of items. 5x leather. Six. <coughs> Excuse me. Six U wood. Five steel. I'm glad I came back here. Two U wood. Ten linen. And some bamboo. Ten iron. Oh, it looks like the weather. Oh, never mind. Just go back. Heavy arrow, 50 supplies. That was a great cache of good stuff. 19 supplies. Mm. 
<clears throat> What's that? Just the breeze. Some supplies. Just take a quick look over here just to see. If you don't look, you'll never know. And thankfully, checking out all these side... It's kind of like... It reminds me of Uncharted, where if you don't look in the little edges of things, you'll miss stuff like collectibles and ammo and other things like that. Oh, hey guys. This is my brother Daryl. This is my other brother Daryl. And my other brother Daryl. Nice to meet y'alls. Like here. Right. All I'm really getting out of this is a flower. But who knows, maybe there's something else back here. The answer's no. But still oh, and there's where I went before. Gotta explore. Gotta keep exploring. Oh, should I honor them? Gentlemen. Oh funny. <clears throat> See the frogs ran away. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Cute. This game's got it all. That ain't it. I do see something off to the side here. Try to check out. Looks like I'll eventually make it down there anyway. A little waxwood, so I must be very close. Precariously perched flowers? Don't mind if I do. I don't think I can jump up there. There it is. And a leap of faith. And it paid. Okay, this is walled. This is the way I came. Guess I should try going down this way. There's another. I met your brothers, Daryl, Daryl, and Daryl. But this is right back down at the beginning. Hmm. Let's try again. Three frogs, hang a right. Another frog. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be anything there. Whoa, watch it, bud. Missed it. Ah, yeah. I missed this. Can't forget to pick the flowers. Oh, my God. Sketchy. That was seriously sketchy. Wow. 
I know. <laughs> Luckily that that moss wasn't slippery, which isn't characteristic of moss, but okay. And up again. Come on, get up there, bud. You got it. That's what I was saying. You would. Normal day for climbing. No big deal. Yeah. Wowzers. This is a pretty intense climb. Hello, bird. Let's honor this shrine. No big deal, just went on a climbing expedition in the rainiest day so far. You know, no no big whoop. What do I win? Charm of Azumi no Isora. Charm of the Kami of the Seashore. Let's see what this gives me. Arrows are silent on impact. Interesting. <laughs> no big deal. I almost paralyzed myself, but it's fine. That's a nice looking charm. Okay, any waxwood hiding? Flowers? Oh, where does this take me? Is this just like the quick way to get out? Beautiful. Nice exit. That was cool. Can I keep going this way? I wonder. This is fine. I'm okay. There we go. So this is brings me right back to the beginning. Excellent. Hmm. Yurashima's village. Okay. I'm going to try and head towards whatever this is. The wind's like, go straight down. I can't just go down there. That's not how this works at all. Okay, I'm going to have to find a sneaky way to get there. This brings me to the shore, I think. So, we'll see. You. Um, I know you it's common to eat dried sunflower seeds. So I assume they're roasted. It's a big part of baseball. So back in the, I don't know, 60s and 70s, baseball players used to chew tobacco a lot. And obviously chewing tobacco is really bad for you. So they eventually changed to chewing sunflower seeds instead. So that's what I associate sunflower seeds with. Something you get either as a spectator. It is an honor to meet you, my lord. Prepare for battle. I'm ready when you are. Really? You want some? Because uh, this can happen. We don't have to do this. I promise to face you. I may be only a ronin, but I keep my word. As you wish. Alright, let's duel. Duel of crashing waves. 
Yes. Love these things. Nice. Sound, I like them. They're tasty. This is foolish. Surrender and you can live. Thank you, my lord. First try. First try. Hold that. After these messages, you'll be right back. Help you find true honor in your next life. Thank you, Asset. Thank you, Arthur. Sucka. That was awesome. Yeah, really. First try. Very proud. That makes me feel good. Now, what was he fishing for? I'm hungry. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I like fighting him. He was cool. He was a lot like the other Straw Hat, so I was able to adapt to his fighting style, but it was pretty cool. All right. Poof? No? No poof? Okay. Thanks, Sylvia. Let's see. Uh, as promised, I'll head over to see Masako. I like working with her a lot. And because I'm sure it will call for it, I'm going to go with... Tori, uh, Tadayori's armor and his little hat. Which myth power do you still have? I don't know. That's a really good question. Um, oh, uh, Asset, my sensei has told me not to look at those. I'm going to keep that a secret to myself for now. I'll get there, though. I will. Yeah, 
I knew you were going to say that. I won't. I won't look at them. There are two more. That's all I know. I can't wait to see what they are. I hope one of them is shooting grenades, because that was pretty fun. Uh, you do not understand. Asset has asked me not to look at them, so I don't spoil myself as to what they are. Hey, Leslie. What's up, my man? How are you? Happy Saturday to you. Having a damn good time here. Just got into a, a duel with a straw hat that I got on the first try. I licked him. <laughs> if you touch that, I'll teach you the way of Kancho. What is Kancho? Ooh, yeah, I heard you guys got some snow. Snow blowed the old driveway. How was that? Kick his ass, he bass. <laughs> well, we were just talking about Dumb and Dumber earlier. That's excellent. Crickets. These may or may not be the same crickets that Arthur was hearing last time we were in one of these. Good morning, Gee. How are you? I took um, Mrs. Muss and my in-laws to the airport on Friday morning. We went to see Earthless at Alex's bar on Thursday night. I got home at like 1 in the morning, and then at 5.30 I had to drive them to the airport. It was harsh. I mean, anything for family, but still. I was like, ah, uh, gosh. Search for Masako Koshimitsu Farmstead. Okay, this is the one that I helped out. These are the guys who gave me the last of the keys. Oh, oh, my bad. Uh, my bad. I missed it. I Now I remember it's the... Yes, he's a limo driver at the beginning, right? Sorry. It's uh, still only 9.30 in the morning here. And chat can be so literal for me. <laughs> nice asset. <laughs> Ten inches in in um your in Quebec. Leslie was just talking. He's in upstate New York. He was just talking about snow blowing the driveway. Uh, exactly. Right, Leslie? There's so much... It's so easy to lose. I see, Kancho. I get it. And I don't want none of that. Speak with Junshin, the thief. Okay. Lord Sakai, I am worried about her. Junshin. What was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone. She's angry I couldn't help. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. I dig it. Ah, oh, those little floating um, lanterns are cool. Love it. I love it. Let's go see what's going on with Masako. She's a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, Leslie, I wish. I only know like two words. I know how to say thank you, and I think I know how to say yes. 
But I'm translating for you now. Do the farmers know who you're looking for? Someone on the list. Beef. I'll help you find it. I need to handle it myself. Farmers said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. They could complicate things. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. Of course. Who am I going to tell? You can count on it. The farmer said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. Lead the way, Masako. Let's roll. Who is this thief? She looted Clan Adachi's estate after the attack, stole very valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that Mai was our former servant. Three years ago, my husband caught her stealing. He wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. Almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. Yeah, alright. No good to have a friend stab you in the back and steal your stuff. Hide in the pompous glass. Grass closer to my... Okay. I'm gonna... Rain down arrows on these straw hats. Going to sell everything. I was just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. You have no money. I have this comb. It's gold with pearl inlay. That was a gift. It might fetch a fair price. No. Nope. We'd have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the heirlooms. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning, just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it'll be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen, or they might hurt her. Okay. Defeat the Ronin without being seen. Can I multi-attack here? Nope. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I can't do it that way. He took a break at 800. Well, you've put in a heroic amount of work, so... Honestly, don't blame you. So I'm going to try this a little differently. I'm going to try and attack just the back with the man in the back, and then after him... The next one, and so on and so forth. I think I can do that, maybe. Masako was saying something to me. Let's see what she said. I'll follow them for a little while and see what happens. There we go. Look, he's distracted. I'll take him. There you go. Oh, what did you have? Some supplies? I'll tell you a story to pass the time. Once there was a girl who worked in a tea house. Her life was hard and had no color. One day, a monk from far away came to the tea house, and the two fell instantly in love. Alright, this is going to be a chain assassination right here. Gotcha. Sleep well. The girl was heartbroken after the end of the relationship, so she went to a witch and learned how to turn herself to give us away into a demon. My wife knows that magic. We all do. The girl flew as a demon to the monk's monastery. 
but the monk saw her coming and hid under a bell. She was clever, though, and cast fire around the bell, melting it and killing the monk inside. Did you drive? Let me see. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. That is quite the snowy scene. Looks honestly pretty beautiful. I bet you it's nice and quiet. But lots to clean up, of course. Nice house, by the way. Looks beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, well said, asset. I don't miss the snow, but it is pretty spectacular looking. I need to speak with my... I'm here if you need me. You stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. You turned me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi, and you were a thief. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I'll take you to your family's belongings. Life in the mountains, that's a pick of my cart's garage. Huh. Nice. Yeah, I can imagine. You know the man you work for as a samurai. I don't know his name. Never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. Yes, I do. He knew about us, my lady. How? I don't know. He said he knew what it was like to love you, that he understood my pain. Asako? Mai was my only... has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms. Concerned they'd get broken. He's, he's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. He spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one. I'm the only one who remains. So Masako and this woman are in love? Your heirlooms are in the brush. Jin? Will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. Yes, I said, I'm getting there, and yes, gin. Hemingway's favorite drink, as far as I know. You were going to sell those mercenaries your comb to keep your heirlooms safe. When I found out you were alive, I wanted to give them back. I just didn't know how. Keep the comb with you, please, for me. I promise, my lady.
interesting twist. So Masako and this, or Masako and this housekeeper or this helper were in love. The Adachi family flute, an old bamboo flute used by Lady Masako to celebrate the changing seasons with her grandchildren. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Pretty simple, but that's cool. I love these fields of flowers. It's so cool. So Mai has gone home. Jin, I want you to know I'm not... You don't owe me an explanation. I cared for my husband. But I cared for Mai too. You still do. I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Other than my husband and Mai, I've had no romances, no admirers. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. We'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. My work in Toyotama isn't finished. Meet me when you can. Wow, that's some deep storyline. Yeah, I had to hit the dab. It's like after a few hours of streaming, I don't know what it is, but I get like dried out and sneezy sometimes. Probably for ta from talking for three hours straight, maybe. <laughs> the Charm of Bludgeoning. I already have that one, so that's okay. Oh, that was really cool. That was a neat little storyline twist that I did not really see coming. And more... Look at the look at the birds. This is so neat. Thank goodness for HD. I read this really good book from the 30s called Star Maker by Olaf Stapleton, and he talks about um, consciousness and shared consciousness and how it's possible and. There, it's from the 30s, so it was, I don't know if it's been proven or if it's just a theory, but that when birds fly together like that, that they're actually sharing consciousness. Pretty cool. I love to see it in real life. So, it's a really cool book, too, by the way. It's simply about... Um, it's simply about this man, I think he was English, and he gets into an argument with his wife, so he leaves the village and walks up onto the hill to sit and look at the stars, and then miraculously he starts this journey into the stars, and he goes from planet to planet and learns all about um, culture and society, and uh, it's really cool, it's really neat, and it has a lot to do with where we come from, so that's why it's called Star Maker. It's a great book. Like, I read it in three days. It's really good. In fact, it's been a few years. I should probably read it again. It's, it was in, it's like one of those enlightening books where you're like, yep, there's a reason that people are still buying this. It's from the 30s. People are still buying it almost 100 years later. Okay. Um... Where to next? I'm tempted just to go back to Akashima Village to do some upgrading real quick because I do have some trapper armor. <laughs> it's possible. You know, a lot of the great writers, poets, musicians, they had some form of something to keep them going, keep them having those thoughts. Man, this cat's still here. You just chill right here, huh? All right. Let's see the bow year first. I haven't upgraded my bow in a little while. Perhaps I can better your bow. I think you can. Wow. Okay. Level four half bow. Level four long bow. It's totally true. Yeah, it's a part, a big thing. I mean, Stephen King, right? 
love him or hate him, you can't deny he's a very, very accomplished writer. And he had such a prolific drug and alcohol problem. Um, I read his uh, kind of like a memoir called On Writing. And in it, there was a quote that stood out to me where he said he used to drink so much that he would drink everything in the house. And that one time his wife accused him of drinking the Crest mouthwash. And he said, no, it wasn't me because I prefer Listerine. You know, like he was, it's a joke about him be, being willing to drink anything, but still having some rules to it. But yeah, yeah, there's a reason. That's how creativity works for some people, I guess. So I'm tempted to, to upgrade the half bow. Doesn't really matter because I can do one or the other. But look at where we come from. Like, you can't go all the way back to the beginning, but these things were very weak in the beginning. <laughs> I've probably said that on stream before. It, to me, it's one of the most memorable lines in the book. There's lots of great things. Like, if you ever considered writing a book or wanted to become a writer someday, it's worth reading. I don't agree with everything that he said because some of it he says like you have to go to school for it and stuff. And I don't, I don't think that all of the famous writers went to school, are academic writers, but but it does have some really good things. There's one by Ray Bradbury too, who's a Santa Ana neighbor, neighbor of mine, neighborhood neighbor of mine, and he's a great writer. He did Fahrenheit 451 among other things. He brought me here again. What is in this? What is here? Hmm. This bird likes bringing me to shrines. But I don't see what I'm supposed to be looking for. Is it underneath, maybe? No. Alright. This bird likes the shrine. There must be something I'm supposed to honor here that I'm just not seeing. What about you? What are you? Does nothing. Okay. I think Ray Bradbury was more of a... I don't know if he was a sober person, but I think he was more of a sober writer because his routine was to wake up every morning and spend an hour writing before he did anything else. And he said often, you know, his dreams and things he thought about at night and all that stuff, in the morning he would wake up with a fresh, fresh mood and... Okay, I, I just upgraded armor. I'm going to try and find the trapper. <laughs> or maybe... Tana? Oh, I don't have enough supplies. Makes sense. He wrote a long, long time ago. If you enjoy short stories, Ray Bradbury's Martian Chronicles is one of my favorite collections of short stories. It's very small. It's not. It's like probably 10 or 12 different stories, but it's cool because you got to put yourself in the mind of Ray Bradbury back in the day when he wrote it. We hadn't really even seen Mars other than through telescopes. And so he, he was basing it on this idea that what could be on Mars? Hey, Gorgel, yes, I am. I am. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Yeah, he's one of the best. I think the best sci-fi writer, in my opinion, is Philip K. Dick. He's responsible for so many things. I mean, he wrote the story that Blade Runner was based on, the story that Total Recall was based on. Um, there's a number of them that he was a part of, and his books are just ridiculously good. Another man who... Um, Probably abused his brain a little bit to, to pump out all that work, but it, it works. It's, they're great reads. I can't find the trapper. Where did he go? This is where a mini map would help a little, but I like the the nature of it where you don't you don't get that. You just gotta look and find yourself. There's the bow here, and there is a trapper here, right? Yep, and there's a gift. Okay. Oh, maybe he's over here. I kind of remember this guy. Hello. 
Ah, yeah, there it is. And then I think the gifts are around here somewhere, too. That's right. That's right. Definitely not a complaint. I don't mind the way... I like the, the mechanics of the way that this works. Let's see. What can I carry more of? Uh, I'd probably like to carry more of black powder bombs. Sure. That sounds good. And why not? I'll do uh, more firecrackers. Even though I don't use them. These are all Max. Max. Farewell. Okay, I'll follow you one more time, bird, but you better make it clear what you're showing me because I'm not seeing it. So there's something here. There must be something hidden in this house. There's something hidden in this house. If you see it, point it out. Where's that nerd emoji when I need it? I'm looking. I'm assuming it's going to be kind of like the hat. Like where there's just... Maybe it's on top. Can I get up there? Looks like I can. There you go. Maybe in the big tree. I think it's on this building, though, or somewhere around here. I'll check the tree, though, after I find a way onto the roof. So there must be. Uh huh. There it is. You see it? There is. Thank you, asset. Perfect timing. What's this? Healer's headband. Got enough for 10 streams. I'll keep those in my pocket. Cherished by the healers of Akashima. Neat. What's it look like on me? Cool. All right. Fair enough. We found it. It is done. Get your house. That's right. Roll them up. Up my sleeve. All right. It's time. It's 10 a.m. local time. It's been real fun. This three hours has been engaging. Uh, at times funny. At other times terrifying. Uh, I got what I wanted. I got the Gosaku armor. Had a great duel. It was really fun. Yeah, 10 o'clock already. Time flies on the couch, you know? This couch moves fast. But as always, thank you, Asset and Arthur, for being here. Leslie, driver guy. Uh, Gorgel, you're a little late to the party. I'm sorry I got to leave, but it's one of those things. Three hours is my maximum. Um, but I appreciate you stopping through and showing support. Tinku, if you're still here. Tony, I hope your nose feels better. Sucks. Six dogs. I don't think you're here anymore, but it was good to see you. And of course, Sylvia, my friend. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't. You gotta just take the door off. Otherwise, I'll slice them up. Uh, what's next? So it's an interesting weekend. I don't really have anything planned, so I might maybe put in pop in another stream maybe some more time in ghost tomorrow or tonight i don't know um i really don't have much planned and i'm here with murph so it's a perfect time to stream more than i usually do and plus i love this game so uh i will see most of you you did i can't make any promises though but i don't know what else i'm going to do so um but yeah i think i might play some more of this and uh, I'm in no rush, but I'm having such a good time playing it. And I usually play on Sundays anyway, so. <laughs> you have evidence now. Uh, truthfully, I'm probably tonight, uh, assuming I don't do much, I'm probably going to play some Demon Souls on PS5. And I may ask for some help or some assistance there. I wish they had Discord. Like, I wish I could immediately stream from 
from PS5 to Discord. I keep hearing rumors that that's going to happen, but I'll believe that when I see it. Um, VC. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, you know what? Timing-wise, it probably will not work for you because it'll be nighttime here. But maybe I'll ask you some questions. Voice channel, yeah. Yeah, I could do a voice channel on my phone, but then you don't get to see it. You know, I wish that they would just make it so that you could stream. Although, maybe on PS5, you can watch me play, right? There's an option to, like, spectate and watch someone else play, I think. I can see how if that works, but that would be kind of cool. You'd have to use your PlayStation, but... Tis what it is. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So maybe it'll be probably nighttime here, though, and I forgot time zones are kind of a pain in the ass. You will be most likely be very, very, very deeply sleeping. Yep. I've seen it. I, I've tried to watch um, Driver Guy play before. Uh, my mic is a Shure MV7. It's a USB version of their world famous blogging um, mic. And it's on a little um, tripod. Yeah, I will. I'm not I don't have anything planned, so I will likely do that. And uh, again, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, no, no, I'm trying to be humble about it. It's the USB one. I didn't spend like 500 on it. The, the the actual XLRs are very expensive. But this is really nice. I'm really happy with it. I know you're I know you're kidding. That's okay. Tinku, come when you can. As always, um yeah, I got to go. Um but as always, thank you. Thanks for stopping through. Thank you all for supporting my channel. Take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs> it wasn't $500. <laughs> Sorry, Tinku. I'll be back, though. Keep an eye out for those notifications. And uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Peace, love, and of course, burritos. <laughs>